In this video, I will explain how to factor an algebraic expression using common factoring method. So here is the general approach. What we need to do is, the first thing we need to do is to find the greatest common factor between the terms. And then we divide each term by that greatest common factor. I will explain this while I'm doing the examples. So in this video, I will solve four examples and I will start from the simple ones and move on to the more complicated ones. Let's get it started. Here is the first one. I have 4x plus 20. So I have in this expression, I want to factor it. So I have two terms in this expression. The first term is 4x, second one is 20. As you can see here, first term has a number and a variable. The second term has only a number. So I need to find the greatest common factor between this 4 and this 20. What is the greatest common factor? So basically it's just a number or variable that is a factor of those terms. Or in other words, it divides evenly into those terms. So what is the greatest common factor here between 4 and use another color? The greatest common factor between 4 and 20 is 4. That's my greatest common factor. I write it down, four. I open a bracket. And the second thing we need to do is to divide each term by that greatest common factor. So four X divided by four, and then move on to the second term, plus 20 divided by four. So plus 20 over four. And now let's simplify uh, the bracket. So I have four outside and inside the bracket, I have four X divided by four, four and four, they cancel. So I have X plus 20 over four, 20 over four is just five. So this is the factor form of this expression. So basically if you distribute this four into the bracket, you will end up and Go back to that expression. So 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 5 is 20. So this is common factoring. We are trying to rewrite this expression in terms of product of two terms for an x plus 5. That's our first example. Let's do another one. <clears throat> I have 6x squared plus 3x. Again, the first thing we need to do is to find the greatest common factor. The first term, I have a number and a variable. In the second term, I have a number and a variable as well. So what should we do here is, first, focus on the numbers. Find, a, find the greatest common factor between three and six. Between three and six, the greatest common factor is three. Okay, we got that. And now we can move on to the variables. I have x squared and I have x. What is the greatest common factor here? So whenever we have variables, always choose the variable with lowest exponents as your greatest common factor. So we always choose the variable with lowest exponent. This one is x squared, this one is x to the power of one, basically. So I just choose that one. So my common factor here is just three x. The next thing we need to do is to divide each term by the common factor. So let's do that. 6x squared divided by 3x. And then let's move on to second one. Now I have to divide this one by that common factor. So that's plus 3x divided by 3x. And close the bracket. Now all we need to do is simplify. I have 3x outside the bracket, and I have to simplify this fraction. So 6 divided by 3, so let's simplify 6 goes into 3, uh, 3 goes into 6 twice, so 2 on the top, 1 in the bottom, and I have x squared and x. This x cancels one of the sixes, so I will be left with 2x plus 3x over 3x. 3x just cancels 3x. That's just one. So 
this is our factored version of this expression, 3x bracket 2x plus 1. So I rewrite this in form of product of two factors, 3x and 2x plus 1. This is common factoring. And if you're not uh, comfortable with simplifying for, uh, exponents, you can watch my previous videos. I, I'll put the link up here, you can watch it. All right, let's move on. I have two more examples. Let's move on to next one. Here is the next one. 30x to the power of 4y cubed minus 15x cubed y to the power of 5 plus 5xy squared. I have three terms in this expression. So we just want to follow the same pattern. The first thing we need to do is to find the greatest common factor between these three terms. We want to find the greatest common factor. Again, we will start with the coefficients. I have 30, I have 15, I have five. What is the greatest common factor between these three numbers? The greatest common factor here is five between the numbers, right? And then move on, let me write it here, five. And then move on to the variables. Start with x. I start with my first variable is x. So x to the power of four. This term has x to the power of three and this one has an x. We said, when we're dealing with variables, we always choose the variable with lowest term or lowest exponent, I mean. So I will go with x. So x is my common factor here. And then move on to the next variable, which is y. I have y cubed, y to the power of five, y to the power of two. Again, I have to choose the variable with lowest term. So I have to go with y squared. All right, this is our common factor between these three terms. So I open a bracket. And what's next? We have to divide each term by this common factor. We have to divide each of them. So let's do that. So the first one is 30 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 3 divided by 5 x y square minus 15 x cube y to the power of 5 divided by a common factor which is 5xy square plus 5xy square divided by 5xy square. Close the bracket. And now all we need to do is to simplify. So outside the bracket I have 5xy square. That's my first factor basically. And I have to simplify this factor inside the bracket. Let's do that. So this 5 and this 30 they simplify. So I have 6 on the top. This x cancels one of these. So I have x to the power of 3 here. This y to the power of 2 cancels 2 of this. So I have y to the power of 1 on the top. So I have 6 x to the power of 3 y. That's my first term inside the bracket. Move on to the second one. Minus, simplify the second one, 15, that's just three. And again, this simplifies, this one I'll get y to the power of three. So I'll get three x square y cube. And let's move on to the next term. So plus this one, let's simplify it. 5 over 5, so just 1, that cancels and this cancels. So this is just 5xy y squared over 5xy squared, that's just 1. All right, this is our answer. This is the factor form of this expression. Let's move on to the last example. Here's the last one. Again, I have expression with, uh, with three terms. I need to factor it. So what, what should I do is, the first thing I need to do is to find the greatest common factor. So I always start with coefficients or the numbers, 10, 4, 12. What is the greatest common factor between them? 10, 4, 12, the greatest common factor is two, right? So two is the greatest common factor between 10, four and 12. 
between the a, the variable a, I have a to the power of four, a to the power of two, a to the power of three. I have to choose the one with lowest exponent. So I have to choose a squared. And for the b variable, I have b squared, b cubed, b to the power of four. So I have to choose b squared. Open the bracket and do the same pattern. Divide the first thing, the first term by the common factor. So let's do that. 10 a to the power of four, b squared divided by 2a squared, b squared minus 4a squared b cubed over 2a squared b squared plus 12a uh, cubed b to the power of 4 and I have 2a squared b squared down here. Okay, now all we need to do is just to simplify. Write down your first factor, which is 2a square, b square. Open the bracket and simplify this bracket. So again, this 2, I'll get 5 on the top. It's a square and it's a to the power of 4. I just get a to the power of 2 on the top, and these two just cancel. So my first term is 5a square minus, simplify the second one. I get two on top, this cancels, and this one I get just b to the power of one on the top. So I will be left with negative two b. Move on to the last term, simplify it. 12 over two, that's just six. This is just a on the top, so let's just write one. And this is just b to the power of two. So my third term is six a b square. This is our answer. This is the factored form of that expression. All right, that's how we factor algebraic expressions using common factoring method. In the next video, I will explain uh, factor by grouping, which applies for expressions with four terms. So please make sure you like and subscribe uh, so you won't miss on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.